everybody, my name is Brandon and you are watching The Real on Me Tea. So today is the first day of Halloween and I thought, wait, did I just say the first day of Halloween? Hey everybody, today is the first day of October and to celebrate my favorite holiday, one of two of my favorite holidays, I am going to, for the rest of this month, every week, upload a special effects tutorial, um, special effects makeup tutorial video on this channel. Yay. I'm like excited. I have, I already have like a bunch of ideas that I can't wait to do. Now yes, that means I will be uploading once a week for this entire month. So um, I am sorry that I am kind of in a weird position, although in all my videos so far I've been in different parts of my bedroom. Um, <laughs> But I'm sorry I'm in a weird position that you can see my bed and my Sebastian body pillow. I left my tripod in my boyfriend's car and so I have, I have to get that back. But um, yeah, I'm improvising to say the least. Um, so there's that. So without further ado, let's go to the tutorial. You won't really see my face that much. Okay, so my camera didn't record this because it likes to be a dick sometimes. So um, what I did was I went in with Ben Nye's bruises. Ben Nye's bruises and abrasions with this red color. Um, you can honestly just use an eyeshadow; it would work too. I went in a little bit on my skin to cause some irritation and I went on my nail as well. Maroon color. It looks brown but it, it does paint on maroon. Um, and this dark, dark gray color, I focused it on um, my cuticles, or on my cuticle area. After that I went in with Ben Nye's Brute Fresh Scab Blood and I put it all over my nail bed. And that is where we are right now. So we are going to go in with this fake nail. I am too lazy to use a regular or smaller nail clipper thing. So I'm just gonna use these regular scissors. Now if you are a small child, be careful. Obviously ask somebody to cut it for you, blah, blah, blah. You're just gonna cut it in half. Whew. Now, with the nail file, I am going to file it down. Now once you file that down, kind of just fit it on your nail and see how you like it. And with a little bit of fake blood, uh, this blood is a little different. It's more liquidy, more gooey. Put it on my brush. And kind of stipple it on there. Now with a little bit of spirit gum. Now you can use some nail glued. Nail glued. You can use some nail glue, eyelash glue, spirit gum, Prozade. Uh, I just happen to have nail glue, or nail glue spirit gum on me right now. It was off camera. Just put it between the nail and even go on the nail. I'm not going to put like so much on it. I'm gonna kind of cover up the white nail polish, but I do want to emphasize the blood. If you can, take off all your nail polish or wear a lighter nail polish shade, but um, don't worry about it, honestly. Now with 
some of the liquid blood, I'm just going to put a droplet right there and then I'm just... Now I'm going to be using some Graftobian modeling clay or modeling wax and be sure to have a little bit of makeup remover on your fingers. Getting that same color, dark gray color from earlier, I am going to going to get some of the fake blood on this kind of brush. I don't know how to explain what kind of brush this is, but I am going to just kind of put it everywhere. And so uh, the reason I put it on some of the other fingers, or the reason I put it on some of the other fingers, is because uh, I think it's it kind of gives the effect of like collateral damage, you know, and also because like you know why not? That's awesome. Pretty cool. And so there you have it. You have your split nail and finger.